there. So, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I was tagged by ASMRvelous to do 50 goofy questions. And to be honest with you, um, this isn't going to be very relaxing. I have one of my kids home with me, and um, my air conditioner's on because it's really hot here. So, just think of it as you're learning a little bit about me. Probably stuff you don't really even want to know. Um, and if it puts you to sleep, great. But I cannot guarantee that it's <laughs> not going to be interrupted or eventful. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll take it as it goes. Anyways, so I was tagged by Danielle. I is marvelous. I know she thinks I'm not going to do this video, so I'm hoping to surprise her. So here we go. First question is, what time did you get up this morning? Today was my kid's first day of school. Um, so I woke up at 6.45. Question two is, how do you like your steak? I like my steak medium rare. Number three is, what was the last film you saw at the cinema? Um, the last movie I saw at the theater was, I think, Despicable Me Too. We don't go to a lot of movies at the actual theater because if just my husband and I want to go, um, it's hard to find a babysitter for all of our kids, and if we take everybody, it gets kind of expensive, but, um, we go a few times a year, um, so I, I think these are despicable, me too. Um, yeah. Number four is, what is your favorite TV show? Um, I have a lot of shows that I like, but my current favorites are How I Met Your Mother, and The Big Bang Theory. I just got into that one. Um, I watched all six seasons of it over the summer. And it's so funny. I like it so much more than I thought I was going to. Um, so I'm really excited about the new season starting. And same with How I Met Your Mother. I'm really excited to see what they do for the last two seasons of those shows. Well, the last season, I guess. The one season. Anyway. Um, question five is, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? And the truth is, I have not been a lot of places. I've mostly stayed on the West Coast. Um, I've been to, like, Texas and North Carolina and a few other places. Um, but... My favorite place is probably, like, Santa Monica. Um, I like it a lot. I like anywhere that has a beach, that I can actually enjoy the beach. Um, it's just my favorite place to be. Um, number six is, what did you have for breakfast? And the answer is raisin bran. <laughs> number seven is, what is your favorite cuisine? And I like Mexican and Italian foods. I like a lot of other foods too, but those are the two I probably crave the most. Number eight is what foods do you dislike? I don't know. I like a lot of food. Um, I don't really like seafood. Um, I'm allergic to shellfish. And it doesn't really bother me because I don't particularly eat it or like it very much, so... Um, favorite place to eat? That's hard. Um, as far as chain restaurants go, um, I like Five Guys, and I like um, the Cheesecake Factory. There are a lot of like local restaurants that I like a lot too. Um, 
but those are the two like bigger chain restaurants that I like to go to the most. Number 10 is favorite dressing. I don't know. I like ranch, but I don't always like it. I also like vinaigrettes and just oil and vinegar. I'm easy. Number 11 is what kind of vehicle do you drive? I drive a Chevy Tahoe. Number 12, what are your favorite clothes? I don't know if this means brand or style, but mostly I wear tank tops and jeans or capris. Um, I wear a lot of black, uh, black shirts because I think I'm chubby and I don't like flaunting my body. Um, so yeah. Um, where would you visit if you had the chance? Probably Australia. I've always wanted to go there. Um, cup half empty or half full? Honestly, it depends on the situation. I really want to say half full, but if I have to be honest, that's not always true. I'm pretty optimistic. I would consider myself an optimist realist, but I definitely have the pessimistic side. Number 15 is where would you want to retire? I'm a little young to think about retirement, but the truth is I probably would want to retire the same place that I want to live, which would be the beach. I cannot stress to you how much I love the beach. I love it. Number 16 is favorite time of day, and I would have to say probably between the hours of like 8 p.m. and 10 p.m when my kids are winding down um, in the early part of that and going to bed and then the hour or so after they go to bed and I just get to like sit down and watch a TV show or catch up on email or whatever. I'm not really a morning person nor am I like a midday person nor am I like a night owl so that, that, that's my best answer. Um, Number 17 is, where were you born? And I was born in California. Um, number 18 is, what is your favorite sport to watch? I don't really watch sports. Um, I used to watch football religiously with my mom. She was a huge 49ers fan. So I watched football with her every weekend. And since she died, pretty much every season I'm always like, this is the season I'm going to watch football again, and I never do it. I just don't think about it on Sundays. I just, that's not what I'm usually doing. Number 19 is, who do you think will not tag you back? And the answer is, I have no clue, because I doubt I will tag anyone. Um, I just don't think I will. Same goes for number 20, who is, which is person you expect to tag you back first. And my answer to that is, again, I have no idea. And who are you most curious about the responses to this? And the answer would be probably Asa Marvelous, but she already did it, which is why I'm doing it. So, um, number 22 asks if I'm a bird watcher, and the answer is yes. I like birds. I always stop and look at them and watch them, but I, I wouldn't say I'm a, an avid bird watcher. I don't have like binoculars and all that stuff, uh, but I think they're super cute. Number 23 is, are you a morning person or a night person? And I just sort of answered that. If I had to pick one, I would say I'm more of a day person. But I'm more a night person than a morning person. But I'm not like a terrible morning person. I know some people that have to have their coffee in silence for like two hours before they can be talked to. And that's not me at all. Do you have any pets? Is number 24. And the answer is yes. We just adopted a cat uh, a couple of months ago. He was a kitten, and now he's getting a little bit bigger. He's really cute. Um, he's an orange and white tabby, and my husband, my husband named him Ron Weasley, but nobody really calls him that. Um, number 25 is, any new and exciting news you'd like to share? 
And the only one I can think of is my pregnancy. Um, they changed my due date to February 5th. And I go for an ultrasound on September 13th. Um, to find out the sex of the baby. And to make sure he or she is doing well. So I'm excited. I'm excited. It's not too long from now. So I'm just really kind of kind of counting down the days. Um, number 26 is what did you want to be when you were little? And the answer is a teacher or a chiropractor. <laughs> it's true. Um, my mom used to go to the chiropractor all the time and um, what he did sort of fascinated me. So, I thought it would be a really cool job. Uh, number 27 is, what is your best childhood memory? And the answer is, I don't really have a lot of them. I had a relatively good childhood, I suppose. Um, but I didn't do a lot of, like, family stuff. My parents divorced when I was, gosh, I think eight. And, um... Yeah, I just don't have a lot of memories. I know that sounds terrible, like I have terribly, like, disturbing childhood, and I didn't. Um, but my dad was always a storyteller, I always remember that. I mean, I have, like, birthday parties, but not any, like, big trips or anything like that. So, I'd have to think on that one a little bit. Um, number 20 is if asking if I'm a cat or dog person. And I'm definitely more of a cat person. Number 29 is, are you married? And the answer is technically no. I am um, engaged, and I've been engaged for, gosh, a year and three months, I guess. And I've known my, I call him my husband, I've known him since um, I was 16. Technically, we're not married, but I still call him my husband all the time. Number 30 is always wear your seatbelt, and the answer is yes, yes, yes. Um, I've taught all my kids to be, you know, avid seatbelt wearers. I think it's super important. Um, my dad didn't wear seatbelts when I was growing up, and uh, it kind of freaked me out, and um, I don't know, I'm just kind of picky about that. Even my 17 year old son who is now driving on his own uh, always wears his seatbelt. I'm really proud of him for that. Number 31 is been in a car accident and the answer is yes but nothing major. Small, always small things. Nothing, nothing major at all. Um, number 32 is any pet peeves. And I don't want to offend anybody with my pet peeves, but I am um, super into spelling. I always say grammar, but that's not necessarily true because I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself like a grammar Nazi. But spelling is one of those things that bugs me. I don't like it when people spell things wrong. And I know it's not always their fault. Uh, I know the English language is ridiculous. But it's just something that comes easy to me, and, um, you know, so yeah. I have other pet peeves too, like people who park really crappy. Um, and just inconsiderate people as a whole. I don't like it when people are inconsiderate. I, I feel like sometimes it's harder to be inconsiderate. Than it is to be considerate, you know, opening the door for someone or whatever the case may be. I just, I would prefer when people are polite and considerate. Um, number 33 is favorite pizza toppings. And um, I don't really eat too much pizza. I really like a loaded pizza with a lot of vegetables though. Number 34 is favorite flour and um, I don't really have one. I like sunflowers a lot, but I don't know if it's my favorite. Uh, number 35 is favorite ice cream. I'm going to sound really boring when I say this, but I really like vanilla. 
but I will say that um, there's nothing better than like caramel drizzle like um, on the bottom and the top of your ice, your vanilla ice cream. It's just amazing. I love it. Number 36, favorite fast food restaurant. Right now I'd have to say In-N-Out. Um, it's, I think, just a California thing. I'm not really sure. Mm. But I don't have one close to me. Um, but I love it when I eat there. Um, I don't really eat a lot of fast, lots of fast food. I like Taco Bell because it's cheap and easy, but I really don't eat a lot of fast food because I just don't. It's not good for you, and I try to avoid it as much as I can. 37 is how many times did you fail your driver's test? And the answer is zero. I got it on my first try. Number 38 is from whom did you get your last email? And it was eBay. <laughs> got my last email from eBay. Uh, which store would you choose to max out your credit card? I don't use credit cards. I don't want to max them out. I have them. I don't use them because I don't like them. <laughs> They could get you into trouble. We pay cash for everything. But if I had a pretend credit card and I could max it out and not pay for it, probably H&M or Next for my kids' clothes. Or like uh, maybe Ethan Allen so I could refurnish my entire house. Number 40 is do anything spontaneous lately? And the answer is no. <laughs> I'd like to say that I did, but um, I haven't really gone anywhere or done anything too spontaneous, so I'm boring, I'm sorry. Number 41 is like your job, and the answer is yes. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I also work from home, and I like both of those jobs. Sometimes I get a little tired and a little burned out, but I mean, don't we all? Number 42 is broccoli. I guess that means, do I like it? And the answer is yes, I do like it. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, number 43, what was your favorite vacation? Mm. I haven't gone on a lot of vacations. Um, I liked my trip to North Carolina. I really want to go to Hawaii. I'd like to visit Canada too. Um, but anytime I go to the beach, which is a couple times a year, I'm always happy, but it's not really a vacation. I'm realizing I'm very boring. Number 44 is the last person you went out to dinner with. Actually, it was a friend of mine. We went out a few weeks ago. It was fun. Number 45 is, what are you listening to right now? And um, my son is watching YouTube videos in the other room, and I can hear him giggling in there. It's really cute. Uh, number 46 is, what is your favorite color? And I don't have an answer for this one. I like all the colors for various reasons. Um, I don't know. I like them all. Honestly, I do. Number 47 is how many tattoos do you have? And my answer is one, two, three. Three? I think I have three tattoos. Number 48 is how many are you tagging for this quiz? And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to. Number 49 is what time did you finish this quiz? And right now it is 7.23 p.m. But I'm not done, so I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be my final end time but I'm guessing I won't talk too much longer because I'm at number 50. And the question is, coffee drinker? And my answer is yes, but minimally. Um, I only drink Starbucks coffee, um, and I only drink the hot white mocha. Um, that's the one I like the best. Um, I've tried others, and I just don't like them very much. And I only like it when it's cold outside. I really, I think I've had maybe two this summer, and it's just too hot to be drinking coffee. So, yeah, and that incidentally didn't start until last year around October. Um, 
I decided I wanted to stop drinking Diet Pepsi and I had really bad headaches from the caffeine withdrawal. And we happened to be at Target that had a Starbucks. And my husband's like, let me just get you this one drink. It's really good. It doesn't taste like coffee and it'll help you with your headache. And I was like, fine, whatever. Just, just anything will do because my head hurts so much. And so he got me the coffee and I was hooked. I was like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's how it all started. And then I gained about... Sorry, my son. I gained about 15 pounds in like probably five months or something like that. It was insane. So, yeah. Anyways, I can hear my son, so I need to go. <laughs> but anyways, that's my 50 goofy questions, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back soon, hopefully sooner than later. Thanks for listening. Bye.